As someone who has traveled around America in a van with my road bike, I feel uniquely qualified to compile this list. You're watching Cities for People, where I attempt to entertain while bringing awareness to the best and worst aspects of our cities. In this episode, I want to highlight the best protected bike lanes in America as of July 2023. 95% of quote-unquote bike lanes in America look like this. As cyclists, we all know these are just lipstick on a pig and utterly pointless. Is a white stripe of paint going to save my life from a distracted driver? These are things we cyclists have to think about. As much as I want to talk about how incredible the biking infrastructure is in Europe, I think other channels have properly covered that topic for now. Alright, alright, enough of the bashing. Cycling infrastructure has actually significantly improved over the past decade across the country. So what qualifications did I use for this top 10? We are not talking about nature trails or nature paths. We're talking strictly city streets. The protected bike lane must have a barrier that physically separates you from cars. Preferably painted a different color and connects you to a destination that's worthwhile. So after scouring over 50 city bike maps, who has the best protected bike lane? Number 10, Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, DC. At just one mile, this is easily the shortest route on this list, but it might be the most unique, with the bike lane right in the middle of the road, connecting you from the White House to the Capitol building. I'm sure it came in handy on January 6, 2021. Number nine, 22nd Street in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. At 1.7 miles, this is how you're supposed to experience Philly. This route safely takes you through several different neighborhoods, including part of downtown, and eventually drops you off at the Schuylkill River Trail. Number eight, Tremont Avenue in Boston, Massachusetts. At one and a half miles, the bike lane on Tremont takes you from Chinatown to the Boston City Hall. The best part of this path is, is it takes you right to Boston Common, where you can park the bikes and eavesdrop on the American Revolution walking tours. Number seven, Austin Street in Houston, Texas. At two miles, you can safely bike through Midtown and all of downtown. Although you may want to take a pit stop at Phoenicia as you'll probably be sweating profusely, this bike lane eventually takes you to the Buffalo Bayou Trail, which is several miles long. Houston is actually an underrated biking city. Number six, Howard Street in San Francisco, California. At two miles, this is a relatively flat path for SF, and part of it even goes through the middle of the street. This path is very well marked with green paint. The entire way has some killer views of the San Francisco skyline as it takes you all the way to the Embarcadero, where the ride just gets even better from there. Number five, 14th Street and Lawrence Street in Denver, Colorado. At nearly two miles, this route actually combines two streets and it's an awesome ride that takes you past the Convention Center, Theater District on 14th Street, eventually turning right on Lawrence that will take you past several breweries and dispensaries, then finally ending at Coors Field. Please bike responsibly, people. Number four, Niagara Street in Buffalo, New York. Buffalo has a great setup here on Niagara Street as it connects you to the Empire State Trail. Protected by concrete barriers and lots of paint on the road provides for a super clean look. I wonder how often it's used during the winter though. Number three, Second Avenue in Seattle, Washington. At a little over two miles, this bike lane is epic. Has a little bit of everything. Starting in Uptown and passing right through Pike Place Market eventually going straight through downtown and takes you all the way to Lumen Field and T-Mobile Park. Once again, I am mad that I don't live in Seattle to enjoy all these nice things. Number two, 6th Street and Penn Avenue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. At just under two miles, although it is somewhat short, it packs a heavy punch. This ride takes you around the Allegheny Center as you prepare for what comes next. Check this out. Ride over the Roberto Clemente Bridge with incredible views of the river, the stadiums, all the other bridges and the skyline and it'll take you straight to Penn Avenue where it'll take you to the Strip District. That's a full day right there. And number one, Fifth Avenue and Sixth Avenue in San Diego, California. At over three miles, nothing's beaten this ride. Enjoy San Diego's perfect weather as you cruise down Fifth Avenue, passing by countless eateries and beautiful palm trees. Then turn into Balboa Park, get lost in one of the best parks in the entire country. But don't stop there. You can continue on through downtown San Diego. That will lead you to the Gas Lamp Quarter, by Petco Park if you're going to a game or take it all the way down to the Embarcadero and continue the ride down San Diego Bay. Are you surprised that Portland or Minneapolis wasn't on this list? Me too.